So today I'm going to teach you how to make chocolate pudding with chia seeds and it is completely vegan and totally yummy. So first thing is to make almond milk. Of course you can go out and buy almond milk but why buy almond milk when you can make it yourself? All you need is 200 milliliters of water and three tablespoons of almonds. But first, before you mix the water and the almonds, you need to take your almonds and soak them in water for about eight hours. I've already done that, and here are my almonds. I'm gonna go ahead and peel them now, and when I'm done peeling them, I'll continue. As you peel them, put them in the water. So now take your blender and take your peeled almonds and your water and pour it in there. And now you can blend until it's all nice and smooth. When it looks like this, it's ready to go. The next thing you need is a bowl and a sieve. See? I don't know how to say that. And then you take your almond milk. I'm going to remove this because else it's going to fly out. And you pour it through the sieve because you want to get rid of those small almond bits. And then you take a spoon and gently press out the almond. And now you have almond milk! So now for the actual pudding. What you need is your almond milk. You also need a tablespoon of chocolate powder. I use unsweetened, but you can use sweetened, whatever you want. And you also need two tablespoons of chia seeds. And last but not least, you can take a half a tablespoon of honey or a golf syrup. I didn't have any liquid honey and it's kind of hard to do it with not liquid honey so I decided to go for the golf syrup this time. Either one, whichever you take, half a tablespoon. Alright, so what we're gonna do next is take the chocolate powder. Sorry, forgot to show you. Take the chocolate powder and put it in the almond milk and then take a tablespoon and take the agave syrup or honey, whichever one you chose. Make about half a tablespoon. More if you want it sweeter, I guess. And then mix. All right, so now you have a nice chocolatey milk here. And what you're going to do is take the chia seeds and you're going to add them slowly while stirring. Like that. So now when you have your chocolate, almond, milk, chia seed mixture, you need to chill it for about one to eight hours. So however much time you have, I'm not gonna do eight hours because I don't have that time, it's already four in the afternoon, but I'll chill it for a few hours and then I'll show you how it goes. Hey everyone, so uh, the pudding is finished and I decided to try two versions. One I put in the fridge, pudding consistency, consistent, consistent. Pudding from the form and the other I didn't put in the fridge and it's still very liquid So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge for some time and eat it later But now we can take the one that's pudding consistency and Decorate it 
So I'm going to go ahead and take some of these frozen bananas. They're very frozen. The recipe you can also find on my channel for these. Then I have prepared some walnuts. Just sprinkle them right over. Some color to it all with goji berries. Of course, you can go crazy with the toppings. You don't have to add bananas if you don't like bananas. You don't have to add goji berries if you don't have them. And what I also wanted to mention is that you had leftover almond bits and for making the almond milk and you can use that another one or two times to make more almond milk with the same amount of water uh, blend it again and it'll give you almond milk again and then afterwards you can use it to sprinkle over this if you want to use them for another recipe it's all up to you <laughs> i hope you enjoy this recipe and enjoy your food